안녕하십니까? 니콜라스입니다. Today we are going to talk about a programming language that can replace Java on the enterprise world and that is replacing Java on the Android world. This programming language is Kotlin. Kotlin is a programming language that is 100% compatible with Java. So what that means is that if you are a developer working in a company that has a legacy Java system, but you want to try a new modern language like Kotlin, you can just do that on the same project because Kotlin and Java are 100% compatible. So today we are going to learn what makes Kotlin so 100% compatible with Java, what else can you do with Kotlin, why did they create it, and who should learn Kotlin. Kotlin was created by JetBrains. JetBrains is a Russian company that makes IDEs. IDEs means Integrated Development Environment, which is basically like a Visual Studio code, but a little bit more fancy and it's not free. JetBrains had 70% of their code written on Java and they wanted to replace Java basically and use a better modern programming language. The problem was that, as I said, they already had so much code written on Java they just couldn't rewrite everything on a new language. They had to find a language that was compatible with Java so they could write new code in this new language but also maintain all Java code. And that's when they created Kotlin. Kotlin was open source and released to the public in 2012 and in 2017 it had a huge surge in popularity because Google announced Kotlin as the preferred way of making Android applications. So what makes Kotlin so compatible or 100% compatible with Java and what does it mean to be compatible? What that means is that you can have a Kotlin file next to a Java file on the same project and you can call Kotlin code from Java and Java code from Kotlin. But why and how does this happen? It all goes down to the Java virtual machine. So to understand the Java virtual machine, we need to remember the concepts of compilation and interpretation. Compilation means that I have a C program and I compile C program into machine code. Interpretation means that I write maybe a Python program and I don't compile to anything, but when I run the program, there is an interpreter translating in real time to the machine. Compilation is always faster than interpretation, but compilation is platform dependent. That means that if I want to compile for Windows, for Linux, and for Mac, I will have to compile for three different platforms because they all have different machine code. Interpretation is platform independent. I write my Python code one time and the interpreter is the one in charge of translating to Mac or to Windows or to Linux. The Java virtual machine is a combination between compilation and interpretation. When you write a Java program or a Kotlin program, you compile that code not to machine code, but to something called Java byte code. So there we have a compilation. But then if you want to run that Java byte code on a Mac, on a Windows or Linux, for example, what you need to do is to use the Java virtual machine. The Java virtual machine understands the Java bytecode and it translates that into Mac OS, Windows and Linux instructions. So it's like an interpretation of the compiled code. Now that's what makes Kotlin 100% compatible with Java. That's because Kotlin compiles to Java bytecode. So at the end of the day, if you have Kotlin code or Java code, they are going to become the same Java bytecode. As a language, what does Kotlin bring to the table? Apart from being compatible with Java and all that, there are two things that are very exciting in my opinion. One is that Kotlin is no safe and that is something that is a huge relief for Java programmers. And the second thing that I like about Kotlin is the fact that it has something called coroutines. Coroutines are something like Go routines in the Go programming language. So basically you can write code that executes many things at once. That means even faster than other programming languages. So what can you do with Kotlin? The first thing is that you can use Kotlin in your Java applications on the backend. So for example, you can use Spring Boot, which is a Java framework next to some Kotlin framework, and that will work 100% well. 
Also, you can make Android applications with Kotlin. So also, if you want to get into Android application development, no need to look for Java. Just go right ahead and look for Kotlin. And there is something really exciting about Kotlin, and that is that it compiles down to JavaScript. So that means that you can write Kotlin code and compile that to JavaScript and interact with React.js. That's cool. Or also, you could write Kotlin code, compile to JavaScript, and interact with maybe Node.js. That's something also interesting. And last but not least, you can use Kotlin for data science. There has been an increase in libraries, in tutorials, in books for using Kotlin for data visualization, data cleaning, and just data science in general, which I think is something really cool. And remember, if a programming language is so multipurpose, like for example Python is, the community is going to grow exponentially high. And that's something I believe Kotlin is going to see in the coming years because there are so many things you can do with Kotlin. You can do Android applications, you can do backend, you can do frontend, you can do data science. That means there will be more questions, there will be more answers, there will be more books, there will be more courses, more open source and everything. So now is a good time to learn Kotlin because I believe it's going to take a huge dent into the Java market. Who should learn Kotlin? I think if you are a developer that wants to work on the enterprise or on Android development, but you don't like Java so much, I think Kotlin is a good choice because it's the perfect balance between object-oriented and functional programming and also being compatible with old Java systems. And also, if you are a Java developer and you are kind of bored with your work and you want to use a new language, but you can't let go of the old Java code, then look into Kotlin because having 100% compatibility is an amazing gift. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think of this video. Let me know if you use Kotlin. Do you like it? What do you use Kotlin for? And as always, don't forget to be happy. Don't forget to eat kimchi. Kamsamnida. Sarangheo very much. Bye bye.